How's everybody doing, bro? Staying strong on retention. That's what I like to hear, bro. Staying strong on retention, man. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm staying strong on retention. I'm staying strong on a whole lot of things in my life, bro. Okay? And retention is definitely on the top of my list. Tonight isn't going to be nothing serious, you guys. I just want to come in here and we're just going to talk about retention, okay? I might even put up the link if somebody wants to come up and, and just chat about retention. Uh, feel free. Um, I'm just here vibing. I'm just here living my life. I'm just here feeling good, bro. And I have to show you guys. I have to put my face on camera so you guys can see that I am truly doing good. Okay, I am doing well. I am doing better than expected. Okay, my manifestations, my energy, everything has been right. Okay, I've been on the correct path, bro. And when I tell you I am benefiting from all that hard work, all of that labor, okay, all of that grinding, okay, in those days, fertilizing my soil. So this time, bro, right now, bro, I would be able to benefit, okay, from all that hard work. And that's what you guys are seeing, okay? I am in such an autopilot, okay? I am in such a well-controlled, God-eye perspective living in life right now, okay? And it's sad, it really is truly sad that most people, bro, are never going to experience this, okay? We must all have a moment of silence right now for all the fappers and the coomers in society because they will never, ever understand on how the shave Lion King feels. I only merely say to, uh, you know, use things such as money to get you to understand the type of feeling that resonates through my body every day, only because that's the frequency of most people vibrate on. See, the problem is I can't even talk the way I want to talk. Okay. I have to mix it up. I have to be up and down my chakras to communicate with majority of the people that I meet in the modern day. Okay. When you are retaining your seed, bro, and you hit this level, when I tell you guys, you become a straight up author of your life, okay? Not only of your life, but many others as well, okay? Because the problem is a lot of people out here, okay, don't have proper role models. A lot of people out here don't have father figures. A lot of people out here are unfortunately walking one of the hardest journeys possible in 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 the universe okay this life of walk on this earthly realm by themselves okay so that's why they hold on that's why they follow that's why they you know have such you know a grasp on people and the community because we are demonstrating what it is like to live a life okay on the road to glory and greatness okay and if you're going to sit there and tell me as a man, wherever you're at in your life, if you're comfortable sitting at home playing video games, if you've got your hands in your pants, okay, or maybe you one of these go-getters, regardless of the fact, okay, it is imperative for you to understand and know that the power of cultivating your sexual energy, okay, is going to turn you into Voltron, okay? It's going to, it's going to summon the powers of Captain Planet. Okay. You must understand. Okay. Many of us, and I mean many of us, okay, up in the high 90 percentile range have never, ever, ever even achieved. Okay. Their life force energy on full. Modern man, modern woman has never experienced this type of bliss, this type of surge, this type of electric energy that charges your avatar, okay, to the point where you're now running on clean fuel, okay? You're not running on no 
busted down 87 grade. Okay. You're, you're riding on the stuff that they put in straight drag cars. Okay. You're running on that fire fuel. And when you're running on that fire fuel, bro, okay, things just become simpler. Okay. People just get out of the way. Okay. Your energy speaks for itself. You carry yourself in a totally different way. You look different. Okay. People gravitate to you. You guys, I've told you in the past, um, you guys know that I work with nothing but women. Okay. I work with nothing but women. It's been like that for the last year and a half for me. I've worked with nothing but women. I see new women every single day. Okay. And to know that I am the only male most of the time in the presence of these women as a work colleague. Okay. And, and how I am reciprocating. Okay. Um, the information. Okay. That I am putting out to them. Okay. And they're putting out to me, all right? And what they're doing is they've shown me a level of acceptance. When I tell you working with women is probably one of the most hardest things to do, okay? Because as a man, you have to understand your place. You have to understand your role, okay? Most of us guys don't have a, a true grasp, you know, just because of what modern day, you know, dating coaches, PUAs have, you know, taught the young men, they got it misconstrued on how their, you know, demeanor should be when they're in the presence of a woman. Where I'm here to tell you right now, based on me being on two years of semen retention, okay, and being around the atmosphere dealing with women every single day, what I'm, I'm learning is women respect someone who knows their place. Okay, who knows the position they play? Okay, you have to understand this. Okay, and when you're able to cohabitate, okay, work as a team, okay, do all of those things in harmony, you know, with the opposite sex in a work environment shows a lot of stability, it shows a lot of patience, it shows a lot of qualities that makes a man well rounded. Okay. And for the simple fact that they like me, okay, shows me a lot, okay? Because previously, as a male who was in his low vibrational and low frequency energy when I was releasing my seed back in the day, okay, I was a sleaze ball, okay? I was one of those guys who didn't respect women, okay? I was one of those guys who, you know, had a mission and he would go for it, okay? And like I said, on this journey, all of these things have came together to make me this perfect man, this perfect being, okay? And this is why retention is a must for you guys, okay? I want you guys to really take into deep consideration to what I'm telling you, okay? I'm not sitting up here going to come on this internet, bro, and waste your time, okay? Because that would be wasting my time. Everything that I tell you, okay, your story could come out 10 times greater. Your story could have the same vibrancy that my story has, okay? It all just depends on when you finally say enough is enough. When I told you you are truly out here battling yourself in this world, it is what it is. What they've done, if they, they've unlocked this monster, okay, which is called pleasure in the human body, okay? They've, they've, they've attacked us subliminally through messages, and they've also attacked us through, you know, sexual imagery and pornography, okay? All of these things now have um, taken away our innocence, and you must understand when innocence is taken away, bro, okay, innocence can be easily misled or misguided. And this is unfortunately what has happened to majority of people in our society. And this is why it's so important for us to continue to press this message because it's going to save lots of lives. Not only is it going to save lots of lives, it's going to change lots of lives. And when we change lots of lives, what we do is we create, okay, a new harmony, a new frequency, okay, and we start healing people, okay? 
that is what we're meant to do. Okay. Once we're all on the same accord, once we're all out here vibrating at the same frequency, we're going to do some amazing things in this world. Okay. But we have to understand that we have a battle and this battle is against ourselves. Okay. And you are going to have to go into the trenches, bro. Okay. To keep solid because they're going to throw everything at you, including the kitchen sink. It's going to be hard enough for you to start this SR journey. Okay. That's going to, you know, cost you a lot of energy. That's going to cost you a lot of time. That's going to cost you a lot of discipline. That's going to cost you a lot of focus. Okay. And then once you get on this SR, you're going to have the temptations. You're going to have the demons. You're going to have the succubuses. You're going to have the negative energy. Okay. You're going to have the agent Smith. The agent Smith is a spirit that literally jumps from host to host to host who is uh, resonating at a certain frequency. And when a chosen one, a person that is carrying a lot of spiritual energy, a lot of light, a healer or earth angel, okay, comes in the present, these spirits have a tendency to find and locate you. Okay. This is why when you are walking the correct path, this is why when you're focusing on your life, you, um, you often seem to be attacked. You often seem to see, you know, negative things out of the corner of your peripheral. Okay. Maybe if someone might snap at you at the middle of the day. Okay. Your day has been perfect. And all of a sudden it's just those p few people, bro. When you come in, you know, when they come into your auric field, now all of a sudden they're irritated. Okay. So this is what I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to understand that, look, Things are hard out here, okay? But I promise you, when you get in this car and you mash the gas and you don't look back in that rear view, what you're going to do is you're going to create so much forward momentum in your life, bro, okay? You're not going to be able to go backwards. It's going to take an awful lot of energy to be able to redirect, okay, all of that energy that you have not now put into the forward motion okay so once you focus and you put that energy forward okay and you get in that car and you don't look back bro okay you are going to build such a bright future for yourself man okay and when i tell you bright i mean bright in every single way okay you're going to learn the game of the matrix you're going to learn the game of life you're going to learn how to take care of yourself because all you do when you get on this journey is seek the ultimate self-improvement. And when you start to seek the ultimate self-improvement, you understand that there is a, a, a ladder, okay, if you will, of different things that you must understand from top to bottom, okay, on what matters in your life that's going to keep you healthy and sustain you, okay, for a long enough time or period on this earth, bro. Okay. While you can do your purpose. Okay. You're here to learn. You're here to graduate. You're not here to keep failing class and keep coming back and doing this thing over and over and over when you know you don't like it. Okay. There's plenty of other places we can go, but that's a whole nother story. The fact is you must understand that your life is going to be all about self-improvement of a man. And this is the pentacle. OK, this is the pentacle of that self-improvement. OK, it's going to, like I said, it's going to involve a lot of focus. OK, but I promise you one thing as I sit here today and I put this on my soul in the most high. OK, you will not be disappointed by your decision. OK, you will have freed yourself, bro, from literally slavery that we have been under. OK, on this, you know, on this demonic, you know, platform that we live on. Okay. You would have freed yourself. You will be a free slave running for his freedom at this point. Okay. And you're going to look and you're going to be able to see and identify all of the, you know, traumatic things that people are going through. This is why I tell you, man, like your life totally changes and you're not here to 
protect your energy to dislike other people. You're protecting your energy for your own protection because you're now able to see. You have the eyes to see. Your 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 third eye is now open. Okay. You have the retention goggles. Okay. You're seeing everything transpire in the matrix at real time. Okay. You have now become okay, Truman. Okay. You're seeing everything while everybody else is still walking to the same beat to the same programming okay and this can be disturbing okay this can be crazy to your life okay and it can shock and scare a lot of people this is where you get people that quit okay this is where you get people who just give up you know this is where you get people who all of a sudden just disappear because of the pressure as i told you guys in my 20 month release video that I had did, okay, I had the same pressure when I was on God mode. The only difference is I was in uncharted territory. I didn't I didn't know what to expect. Okay. I didn't know. This was that this was that was all new territory. Okay. But what I've came to know when I've came to um, acknowledge is the fact that now once I've gone on this second journey, it was meant for me to walk this journey so I could share this information with other people. Because I promise you, there's going to be someone who comes on this journey who is just as passionate as me, who is just as disciplined as me, okay? And who wants to see this to the very end to the, get the most maximum possibility benefits that one can receive. And that is who you're looking at. And this is why I am so passionate about what I do because I'm telling you the truth. It is one of the most amazing things that you can ever do. I don't have any vices on me. I don't have anything holding me back. I don't have anything affecting my, my thoughts. Okay. I have pure thoughts. Okay. I have purity going on in my life and it's just been amazing guys. What's happening, fellas? Bonafide goods in the building. What's happening with you, brother? How you doing tonight, man? <clears throat> oh, I appreciate that, brother. You said been 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 watching you for a few months and you're inspiration, my brother. I appreciate it, man. It's it's all all I'm doing here, guys, is telling you real time on what it is that a real retainer is going through. Okay. We're talking about over 900 days of pure retention. And you know, the funny thing is people will try to say that people like me, um, will be aggressive. Okay. People like me, you know, all that testosterone is going to change you. What have you seen this testosterone done to me, fellas? Do I look like an aggressive person? I look like probably one of the most approachable people that you ever will meet in your life. And this is how I get treated on the daily. <clears throat> this is how I get treated on the daily. Okay. Every day, this is how I'm treated. I get one of the best treatments by far, you know, that I've seen by, by anybody. I'm liked by many walks of people. Okay. And I owe that all to retention, bro. Because like I said, I've really gone inside and I've looked at myself first before I can look at anybody else, bro. And I made sure that myself, bro, okay, was was hold was held responsible for all the things that I've done up until that point. Okay. And I made an oath. I made a pat or whatever you want to call it to myself. And I and I read it right here on YouTube. And I have not gone back to that. I never will. Okay. I've freed myself. Okay, what most people out there are 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 you know are drowning in. And I want to be the inspiration to let you guys know that it's not very hard. Okay. Once you decide in your brain on this is what it is that you want to do, bro, there'll be no holding you back. Okay. And you will be able to create the life that you could have never even imagined. See, right now you can't because your energy stores are too low. Okay. You have too many different energies too many different frequencies. Okay. Remember that the, they play with low frequencies out here. Everything's a low frequency. Okay. Everything is, is something that will, will hinder and hurt. Okay. The human body. This is why we age so fast. So everything is a frequency. Okay. It's a reason why they want you to stay down there. 
okay? Because you are now not able to make the most smartest and the wisest decisions that possible that you could, okay? You are now, all right, docile as as what what they the, the you know the old Jeremy um in Otzi guy you know I can't even say the word the Otzi guy okay used to put in their drinking water which was fluoride and if you look at way that that community was ran they were very obedient people who didn't say much who really didn't think for themselves and we have that same issue here in America in the states and in many other places around the world and it's a reason why they are doing that, okay, because it directly affects our decision making, our will, okay. And this is why most of us don't even understand how we got in the place that we we're in in the first place because we've been bamboozled, okay. This is why it's dead serious over here about going on retention, okay, because this is going to free you from all that crap. Tell him, Jim, no fat, brother. Jesse, what's happening? Actually, hold on, you guys. I, I Give me one second. I got my damn cookies in the oven. I probably burned them. Hold on. <clears throat> Marlon, what's happening with you? Marlon Jackson in the building, what's happening with you tonight, man? You doing good, bro? I hope you're doing good, man. We're just up here vibing, telling the real, you know, speaking the gospel about what really what it really is when you retain your seed, bro. This is this is some some godlike shit. You're seeing this for real, bro. And you know what's crazy, man? Man, I, I could just sit up here and talk about this stuff forever, bro. Cause that's all I do is all day. You know, it's a reason why I don't have any immediate friends. I don't have anybody in my circle. So all day I sit and I can hear myself think. All right. I hear the positive things come into my head. I hear the negative things clearly and I'm able to block them out. Okay. Because I don't have a bunch of different energies tugging on me. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm able to clearly see what it is that I want to say, okay? And that, to me, is another superpower all by itself, okay? When I tell you that there is nothing else that we should be really even be talking about on the internet because it's crazy because 90% of the people don't even know about this. So if you're trying to tell me that we're not going to be talking about this for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and you know, you, you've missed the boat, okay? Like I said, you guys, we are at the forefront. We're at the very beginning of this thing. And if you, if, if, if I were you, I would make smart and wise investments, okay, in this movement and in yourself at this time, because you're going to see a lot of people come out of this community and go big places, okay? When I tell you that this makes you, okay, a true 1% person, Okay, you hold gifts, you hold knowledge, okay, you hold vibration, all right? You hold tools that regular people will never ever acquire, okay? And when you get in front of the right people, okay, you're going to be able to create, you're going to be able to attract whatever it is that you want into your life. When I tell you you have a, a confidence, okay? like the man of steel, there's no one going to beat you. Okay. I telling you the truth. Okay. It's mind over matter, bro. All right. And this makes you stronger than everybody else around you. Muscles are not going to do nothing for you. Muscles are for the 3d realm, bro. You're still think You're still thinking on the 3d. Okay. Muscles are going to help you. However you feel they're going to benefit you on the 3d. Okay. I'm about power. I'm about chi. I'm about spiritual energy. Okay. I understand what this world is. I understand what our objective is to do down here. And I understand 
on, you know, what's at jeopardy and what's on the table for me. I can manifest whatever I want. I can be whoever I want. You can start right now on your semen retention journey. Okay. Write it down on who it is that you want to become. Write it on, write it down on where it is that you want to go and what it is that you want to achieve. Okay. And you look at that and you go outside and you read that to the universe, bro. Okay. And when you do that and you read that to the universe, bro, guess what's going to happen, bro? Guess what's going to happen, bro? When you do that and read that to the universe, guess what is going to happen to you? You are now going to manifest that, bro. Okay. And once you manifest that, bro, guess what? Guess what? Now you have just become the true, okay, creator of your own reality. And that is what happens to you when you are wielding this power correctly. When I tell you guys that there's distractions all over this world to make sure that you don't get this message, I couldn't make this up. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't make this up. There are so many distractions out there, bro. They don't want you to know about this by any means. Okay. This is why they give you everything. This is why you're distracted by everything, bro. Social media, sports, celebrities, parties, money. Okay. If you understood that you could get all of that and live a 10 times healthier, happier, longer, more fulfilling life by simply, okay, correcting what it is that you were taught, you would understand, okay? And this is why I'm here in living proof. They will try to tell you all of these negative things about retaining your seed. How? How? I'm more sane than anybody out there, okay? I'm going to give you an honest Okay, a uh, honest answer. Okay, no ego involved. All right, no ego involved. I'm going to give you an honest answer. Okay, and those are the people that you can trust, those are the people that you can build around. Okay, and this is why this is so important to press this message because all of us got to understand that this is what we want in our society. Okay. We don't want any more of this drama no more, okay? We're, we're, we're trying to move into a higher frequency, okay? We're trying to live happier, healthier, longer lives, okay? And the only way you're going to do that, bro, is with peace and love, okay? That's the only way that you can do that, all right? And the only way you're going to get there as a man is by breaking that spell that they put on your head. Okay. And that spell is that you, it's okay to self please and touch yourself. Guys, let's keep it real here. Let's keep it real here, man. Okay. If I were just to stand up right now and reach in my pants, bro, you would look at me like I was crazy and I was some kind of creep. Okay. So, how is it that you could sit there in your right mind? knowing that you are doing this act, bro, okay? And you think just because there's no human eyes on you that you're not being watched or you're not being judged, okay? First and foremost, you're sitting there lying to yourself, okay? Which is one of the biggest no-nos. This is, this is why it's going to be so hard for you to rebuild your character, bro, okay? You have to strip away everything that you've known, Okay. And you got to go back down to zero point, bro. You got to break yourself. All right. You have to. And once you break yourself, bro, okay, you free yourself. All right. Now you have the ability to make the moves that you need to move. Okay. Move in. You have the ability to do that now. Okay. And now, you know, if I take a step this way, okay, I could get into danger. All right. It's best that I keep my, you know, my paces this type of way. And when you live your life like that, bro, okay, everything comes together, okay? Just like, a, it, 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 it's like, it, it just works in perfect synchronicity, okay? You just go throughout your day, man, and things just work. Things just happen, okay? And another thing that you're going to start kicking is anything out of your, out of your life that's negative, anything in your mind that's negative. I don't 
care if that's an old girlfriend. I don't care if you if you may have lost a job or or lost a friend, okay, or lost a relationship. Let me tell you something. Anytime you lose something, that's the most high pulling something away from you that you were too stubborn to let go of. Okay. He did that. Okay. It wasn't something that you did. It wasn't something that they did. The situ it wasn't right for you. Okay. It wasn't what the most high had for you. Okay. I told you that because none of us are doing it the right way anyway. None of us are out here being celibate on retention, attracting our true soulmates. None of us are out here doing that. Most of us are out here, bro, are jumping into relationships with people, okay, based off what we see from our eyes, which is lust. Most of the people out here in relationships are in relationships because of lust reasons. Most of the people out here that done conceive children, including you and me, okay, were probably brought about through lust, okay? We weren't brought about through a healthy, mature seed, bro, where you know, people were, were doing things the right way. They were cultivating their sexual energy. Okay. Not only that, they were probably taking care of themselves diet wise as well. Okay. So you're seeing on how important this is to not only us, but to our society. All right. And I want you guys to really take this seriously because it is truly life-changing. Okay. And you're getting it for free. Okay. I, I guarantee you guys this. I guarantee you guys this, sometime soon, some big wig, okay, some 1.2 million YouTube subscriber, okay, paid for agent channel, okay, is going to monetize semen retention content, is going to monetize semen retention programs, okay, and is going to be selling them to all of the sheeple out there, okay, instead of you, all right, starting to work on yourself one day at a time, one foot at a time, okay? That's all it takes is effort. All it takes is one step at a time. And for the simple fact that most people out there aren't willing to put in that much effort, lets you know how sad, okay, things are really going on. Let's you know how robbed they truly are of their vital energy, okay? If you had this liquid gold flowing through your veins, you feel like you can do anything, okay? I want you guys to think of a movie, of Disney movie, Hercules, right? Hercules was glowing, okay? Remember when they gave Hercules a bottle and they, they, they made him drink that formula to take his godhood away and he was glowing like a god? That, that's you. That's you, okay, before you fell, okay? That was you before you got tricked, Okay. And you created your own demise. Okay. By turning on a faucet. All right. That leaks out your life day by day by day. Okay. And not taking the time. Okay. To, you know, question. All right. And learn on what it is that you were doing and how special it is that you have that your creator gave you. And if you think about it, like I said, if you go back to zero point when you want retention, what you end up thinking about is you end up thinking about, bro, if I was here with nothing in the wilderness, okay, and I had no other tools but just my body, what do I have? What do I produce? Okay. That is of value that does some miraculous things like people would call magic. It's your seed. And this is how you know on how important that is to your toolkit. Okay. That is literally your lifesaver, bro. Okay. Luke Skywalker, that is your lifesaver. You, you, you're, you're not able to do anything. You're not able to use your mind. You're not able to create. You're not able to have that drive. You're not able to have that killer instinct. Okay, you're not able to be the person who you're truly supposed to be. And to me, that is an outright shame to, to live a life, okay, this many years of wasteful energy with no purpose. Okay. That is a that is a shameful death. All right. And I told you that I am never, ever, ever going to be like that. And if you're hanging around with me, bro, you're gonna get on my level. Okay. I promise you, you're going to get on my level. Okay. Cause my energy doesn't play bro, because I'm serious about my energy. All right. 
And I'm, when I give it out to you, I'm giving it out to you for a reason. Okay. I'm not one of these people who are always going to make content. I give it you the energy when the most high tells me to give you the energy. Okay. And apparently right now you guys need this self-love talk to understand that you know, not only do I love you, the creator loves you and you love yourself. Okay. And I want you guys to understand on how powerful we are. Okay. And stop underestimating yourself. Stop undermining the abilities that you have, bro, to be who it is that you want to be. Okay. There can be many Kings in this world. Okay. There could be many leaders in this world. And that's what you shoot for. You shoot for the highest at all times. You don't settle for anything less. Why? Because you are a God and you need to act like one. Okay. And we don't settle. We improve. We create. Okay. We strive, bro. All right. We have a never ending drive for greatness. Okay. We never quit. Our gas tank is never empty. Our cup is never full. All right. And this is what we're going to continue to do as retainers, okay? <clears throat> What's up, man? What's happening with you, brother? <laughs> How you doing there tonight, bro? Unapologetically uh, honest critic. How you doing tonight, bro? No, I haven't. I don't do anything like that anymore, bro. I'm um, I'm more about studying. That's what I'm about these days. I'm about studying, bro. Okay, I'm about um learning as much as I possibly can. Okay, I'm in I'm in a point where my life, bro, where um, you know, SEX, you know, the most powerful driving force that has us doing all these crazy things in the, in the world. Okay. No longer has a grip on me. Okay. It doesn't have a grip on me. I can, I'm comfortable with it, bro. I can see the most beautiful, attractive, sexiest woman and not be bothered. I can watch my old movies that I watch that have, you know, those scenes in it and it doesn't bother me. Okay. I'm past that point. Okay. It doesn't have a grip on my life anymore. Okay. I'm not turned on by that. Okay. I'm turned on by much, much more. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I can look at a beautiful woman all day and say she's beautiful and, and I'll say it out of my mouth and I'll think it and uh, all of those great things. But the, the difference between me and that other person is I will never, ever act on that thought. Okay. That doesn't that doesn't make me want to do that. Okay, what makes me want to do that is I actually attract someone who is on the same frequency and the same vibrational energy as me. Someone who has the same vision, the same drive, the same purpose. Okay, all right. Yes, people will try to sit here and tell you that opposites attract, and that's very true. But th they don't attract in the ways that you. Uh, would want to build a long-term relationship on. Okay. You, this is why it's important to have, you know, some things in common with the people who it is that you're messing with. And this is why I feel like, you know, when you're on retention and you're doing things the right way. Okay. And the universe is aligned for you, bro. Okay. That person just shows up in your life. I've seen it happen before. It's happened to me before and I've messed it up. I told you guys that. Okay. So I, uh, this is what I'm going to continue to keep doing, okay? Because it's working, okay? And my, like I said, uh, I, I don't know anything else that I could have ever possibly done. There isn't one school. There isn't one book, okay? There isn't one program that I've ever seen that is going to give you the results, okay, that this is going to give you, okay? And all you're simply doing, gentlemen, is, is unplugging from the matrix. That's all you're doing, essentially. You're just unplugging from the matrix. Okay. You're, you're, you're stop. You're stopping all of the stuff that they say is okay. Okay. And you're going back and you're doing everything. Okay. And you're relearning everything yourself. And this is the walk. This is why it's so important. Okay. Cause you, you, you put the trust in yourself. You become the one. Okay. You answer your own questions. Okay. <laughs> you become the Oracle. Okay. You become Morpheus. You become who you become whatever guiding force. Okay. That you have. Okay. Spiritually. Okay. That you haven't unlocked. Okay. Is now unlocked. All right. 
and you have literally, okay, someone walking with you at all times, protecting you and guiding you. Okay. This is how you unlock these things, guys. Okay. It's a reason why they show us things in video games. Where do you think they, they get these things from? Unlock the, uh, a new attribute. Okay. Unlock the new power. Where, where do you think they, they, you think that these people just made this up out of, out of thin air? They just created all of this, right? No, you guys. Okay. They, they, they made these things up based off of real life events. Okay. And this is what you can do when you're retaining that seed. Swayze, what's happening, man? He says, save it out, save it out, uh, energy, man. We the real ghosts out here. I feel it. We are, bro. We saving our energy, bro. And you know what's crazy, Swayze, bro, is more and more people are starting to get it, man. Okay? More and more people are starting to get it, bro. Okay? They are, bro. It's crazy that they are, bro, but they're starting to get it, man. Okay? Slower, sh sh surely, uh, slowly, but surely, they're starting to get it. Okay? I know you guys uh, seen that I went on uh, Big Ward, um, the, the, the Genius is live tonight, right? And I just went on there real quick because I just want to see if he knew about scene retention. Okay? Like I told you, here are all these big channels out here, bro. And they're talking men's self-improvement, but you don't hear nobody out here giving the real gems. Okay. He didn't even know about it. He said, I don't, he, 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 he confessed himself. He said, I don't even do that. Okay. So that lets you know that all these people out here are missing out. Okay. All these people out here are, are, are going to be, you know, completely shocked once they, you know, start doing the research and they put this in practice. Like I said, it's, it's for the simple fact that we're talking about it. Okay, on a big mainstream platform such as YouTube. Okay, and we got a bunch of people all together in the community uh, supporting this information. It's showing you the growth alone. Okay, and like I said, it's slow. Okay, it's slow. It's not not near as fast as we needed to, but the simple fact that we exist. Okay, and YouTube is letting our videos exist. Okay, all right, makes us relevant. Okay, and we're gonna continue to wake people up. Jim says, yes, we are awake to the fact that we are in the Truman Show, bro. Isn't it crazy, bro? Isn't it crazy that we are in the Truman Show? They show us all of these movies, bro, right? They show us all of these movies, okay? And in these movies, all right, they're showing us that there's always one person that's awake. There's always one person that's walking through the matrix, bro. Okay. And they're fully awake. Okay. Think about all of these movies we got. Think about it, bro. Okay. Everybody else is asleep. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's a horror, horror movie or not. You could even look at it as like Chucky. Okay. Here, here's Andy Barkley, bro. All right. Talking about Chucky. Okay. Talking about being here. Okay. And nobody believes, nobody believes Andy that Chucky is alive. Right. And that's like us here in our modern day time. Nobody believes anything we say. Nobody believes that the certain diets that we have, bro. Okay. The certain diets that we take, bro, are beneficial. No one believes that going on long retention streaks are beneficial. Okay. Because we're the Neos. We're the ones that are awake in this matrix, bro. Okay. And our job is going to be a very hard one. This is why we are called the chosen ones. Our job is going to be a very, very hard one, and okay, and it's only going to be the strongest. It's only going to survive. Oh, sorry. Is my camera working? Is my camera working? Hey. No, your camera's not working, bro. Okay, my bad, bro. Let me try and get that working real quick. Okay. Yep. Give me one second. Hey, I'm sorry it's not working, but hey, I just want to say you're a real one, all right? You're preaching out here to the choir, and I love what you're doing today. So I just want you to keep going with it, all right? Keep going strong. Keep preaching to everyone. Keep spreading your message, man. You're doing great out here. I appreciate you, man. Um, is this something relatively new to yourself? Uh, is, this is, is human retention new to you? This is absolutely new to me, man. And I'm just saying, this is just great stuff to hear. 
I'm glad you're preaching about it. And I'm just, I'm just thankful that I found your streams, man. Right on, brother. I'm glad I'm helping you, man. Keep strong, bro. Like I said, man, I, I hope you've been in on the stream earlier, man. And you hear what I'm saying, man. And like, there's going to be some trials and tribulations, bro. But understand, man, that you've always had your back, bro. Okay. You, most of us don't understand the power that we got, man. And I'm Absolutely, just trying to show you man. guys a glimpse. Okay. Thank if you, I man. can do I this, in the glimpse. Thank right. You, man. If I can do this, you can do it, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. You have a good one. You too, man. Appreciate you for coming in, bro. So, yeah, guys, you know, this, this is what it is, okay? People are starting to wake up, man. People are starting to see that this is really, really going on out here, okay? People are starting to see that this power is for real, all right? And I'm just one of these people, bro, who is really living this life. And here's the thing. I bet most of these people who, at, who looked at me at the beginning of this, bro, probably laughed and giggled and joked, okay? And now they're looking at this person who I became. They're looking at how I went in and I took all of my energy back from everybody, okay? Everybody that I felt like didn't deserve my energy, I took all my energy back and I redirected it into my life with self-love. I don't need anybody's validation. I don't need anybody uh, to love me. I love myself. Now, do I want to love somebody else? Of course. And I have so much love to give. Okay. And that's a fact. Okay. Probably the best love that they're ever going to get is from a retainer. Okay. Why don't you go ask some of the fellow men who retain they, and, and ask them how it is that they put it down. Okay. We're not selfish. Okay. We're lovers. We're into the person that we're into. Okay. You know, everything is going to be coming from a pure thought. All right. There is nothing like a man. Okay. Who is a, a pure masculine man who is pure at, at heart. Okay. Is going to treat a woman. Okay. There, there's no other guy in the world is going to be able to treat a woman better than a retainer, bro. Okay. It's just not going to happen, bro. Okay. You are the epitome, okay, of what it is to be, uh, okay, great, of a great man. That's it. Point blank period, okay? Like, you're at the top, bro. There's nothing that, there's nothing that no one can say or deny you, okay? You've, you've, you've showed every single test, bro, okay, that you could pass, bro. All right? Well, most men, bro, like I said, are out here just settling. They're settling, bro, okay? And, and it's 2024. There's no more, you know, as men, there's no more going in our pants, bro. All right. And creating this self-pleasure. Okay. If you get caught doing any self-pleasure as a man, you're going to get shunned from this point out. And I'm going to be one of the people pointing the finger at you. Okay. So if you're one of those people and you think it's still cool to be doing that, this is, this is not the place for you to come. Okay. Because we're not doing that over here. Like I said, I, we're raising true kings over here. Okay. All the people that are going to come out of the shave lion kings, okay, journey, bro, are going to be people that are going to be able to go in this world and make a huge difference and a huge change. Okay. Well, this this retention is going to create millionaires. This retention is going to create powerful people, bro, who now understand know and know how to be, okay, a good person, a balanced person. Okay, a person that's, you know, not all in their lower red chakra energy where they're all they're concerned about is greed and lust and money, okay, and materialism. Okay. Instead, what we're creating is we're creating people out here who are really going to make a a, 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 a really good balance, okay, to our world. Okay. Where you're gonna have people that you can trust. Okay, you're going to be able to, you know, if you choose not to go on this path and create your own, you're going to be able to work up under people. You're going to be able to take, you know, leadership from people, bro, who are going to be true down to earth, authentic people. All right. And this is what we're doing over here. Okay. And if you're trying to tell us we're not leaps and bounds, okay, above modern man, then there's something wrong with you. Okay. Because what we've done is we've now put a magnifying glass, okay, to all of our, okay, imperfections, all right? And we're out here correcting them, okay? We're out here facing them, okay? And I told you, there is no greater remedy, bro, okay, 
than to, to than to come out here, bro, and face something head on, cold turkey. Okay, that is how you quit. That is how you make a change. Okay, don't let society sit here and pamper you. Okay, in your weakest moments by telling you something's okay when you know it's not okay. You know what's wrong. All right, and that's the the mindset that we have to break. And this is what retention does. Okay, and I'm I've been proving this for years. Sixty day liquid fasting with five hundred and seventy six days of pure retention, bro. Hold up, man. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Good stuff, bro. That's amazing, man. That's amazing, bro. Okay, that's amazing. And you brought up a very good point, bro. You brought up a very good point, man. All right, I want to talk about this health stuff real quick because, <clears throat> see, I've been doing health for a very long time. I told you guys this is, this is almost my 10th year of studying health, okay? And I've gone from being a pure meat eater, okay? I've gone from eating a carnivore diet, okay? I've gone from, you know, eating um, a vegan diet. I've gone to a, a vegetarian diet. Okay, and now I went back to meat for a year and a half, and then I got off of it again, and now I've been three months without any meat. Okay, so what you're seeing is you're seeing me trying to figure out what works for me. Okay, what works for my genetics. Okay, and this can be a very touchy and sensitive topic. Okay, so I'm going to give it to you on people who have, you know, melanated indigenous type of futures. Okay. It is important for you to understand. Okay. What I've learned over my 10 years, bro. Okay. It's health is important for you to understand that, you know, most of the foods that we eat are acidic. Okay. And these acidic foods harm our temples, obviously. Okay. They cause cancer. Okay. And one of these acidic foods that they press a lot is meat. Okay. And not only that, that um, they've also proven from, from science that melanated indigenous people have a different type of hydrochloric acid in their stomachs. Okay. Thus making the process of digesting meat. Okay. Longer, which creates what we've talked about what this creates this creates you know uh backed up a uh, bowel system okay constipation etc okay which end up eventually causes disease okay so the f the food that works the best in our bodies has been shown is fruits okay and the problem that we're having is we live in a society where we we have um body image disorder based off what they based off what we've been shown. Okay. So everybody looks big. Everybody looks buff. Right. So based on that, bro, what's happening is these people, okay, are pushing these foods out here for us to eat. Okay. By trying to tell us this is what's going to make our bigger. This is what's going to make you stronger. So you got a body disorder image of people out here trying to accomplish this unnatural, okay, physique and body and look, okay? And this is what's going on, okay? This is what's the problem, okay? So when you go on a plant base, okay, a fruitarian, a vegetarian, okay, a vegan diet, okay? What's going to happen is you're going to be a lot lighter, okay? You're going to be getting adequate amounts of fiber. You're going to have foods that are easily digestible. What does that mean? That means now you're not putting a whole bunch of sludge in your machine. I told you, you're a highly sophisticated, tuned machine, bro, okay? And when, if you understood that, okay, if you understood that, you would be putting the best fuel in your body. Okay. So what you want to be doing while you're on retention, if you want the best benefits is you want to put the best fuel in your body. And what I have seen based on what my body has been telling me, because like I said, I am tapped in, I'm sensitive to energy. Okay. And my body told me no more meat. 
Okay. My body told me it's time to put that shit down. Okay. And this is what I'm doing. Okay. And I've been, I, I, I can put on weight like it's nothing if I need to. Okay. Or I can lose weight like I, uh, you know, if I need to. Okay. I've always been like that. My weight fluctuates. Okay. I've been well over 210, 215 pounds in college playing football. Okay. And then even after college, I was 195, 190. Okay. And then recently I had slimmed down when I was eating meat there for a little bit to 185 pounds. Okay. And now that I'm on this um, vegan vegetarian diet, okay, I freaking have lost 15 pounds. I'm down to 170 pounds. Now, here's the thing. If if I if that was natural and I was supposed to be maintaining that, okay, it wouldn't be such a fight to keep that on my body. Okay. What I also started to learn is that fuel burns completely differently than this plant-based fuel that I run in my body. You see, I feel light all day. Okay. And one of the number one things that I learned about building race cars, bro, okay, is you want to have a good weight distribution. Okay. You want to, you want to do, you know, uh, you want to do all kinds of, of, of weight distribution mods. Okay. And this is the same thing with your body. Okay. The average person is walking around with 10 to 15 pounds of sewage of pure feces. Okay. In their 50 foots intestines. This is why majority of Americans have guts. Okay. Even if you don't have a gut and you've never, gone on a plant-based diet or you may have never cleansed before, okay, you still are possibly have this in your gut, okay? If you have any kind of gut at all, if your stomach is not super flat and you can't see ribbits in between your stomach muscles and you don't got a super ripped six-pack, guess what? You have that sludge, okay, that's sitting inside of you, okay? When you eat that type of food, you smell like that type of food, okay? If I were to take, go right now, bro, and go get me some real, some real, not GMO, some real strawberries, okay? Some real blueberries. And I sat them down on a plate. And then I went and got me some meat, some pork, okay? Some clams, all right? Some tuna. And I sat it on a plate. And I walked away, bro. And I came back two, three months later. Hell, let's just say I even came back a week later. Let's start with that. I come back a week later, bro. Guess what would still be looking edible? I guarantee you, you wouldn't want to be eating anything that came from that meat side. And this is what happens when it enters your body, okay? Because it's not being excreted. See, the problem is us people, we eat the food, bro, okay? And we think just because we eat the food that it disappeared. <laughs> it's like magic. We think just because we ate the food that the shit just evaporated. It's gone. All right. And we really even get more confused because we think just because we ate that food and we took a crap once, you know, maybe, you know, earlier than that previous day that that we're OK. No, every meal that you're supposed to eat, you're supposed to eliminate. And what I've known about being on the vegan diet and the vegetarian diet is every single thing that I eat, I eliminate. OK. And it's pretty in instantaneous. You know what I'm saying? It goes in and comes out. All right, that is a functioning, healthy, working, all right, system. When I ate meat, that didn't happen. Okay, it was it was lots of constipation. Okay, same thing with eating breads, milks, cheese, dairy. Okay, all of those things that they have in our food pyramid. Okay, which leads ninety nine percent of you to their system and end up on their pharmaceuticals and end up getting diagnosed with some kind of chronic disease. All right, this is this is what they have taught you to eat. Okay. But if you go look at other cultures before us, you go look at other healthy countries. Okay. They are not eating anything that we eat. Okay. A matter of fact, they're eating way more plant based, way more vegan, way more vegetarian options. Okay. And they're living longer. They live healthier. Okay. They're not, they don't have doctors over there like we have doctors. Doctors over here are waiting to cut you open, bro, at every cost. Okay. Knowing that they could tell you to stop whatever it is that's causing the problem. But instead, what they want to do is they want to cut you open and they want to make you a long-term, okay, client on their pharmaceuticals because that's where the money's at, okay? The money's not helping you get better, okay? So this is what I've seen. This is what I've learned, all right, by going on my journey. 
And I understand that the balance that you have to eat, okay, as a person just to even have some kind of, you know, natural balance, okay, is you have to have more plant-based than meat, okay? That's what I would suggest. And on top of that, you know, modern day meat out here, I wouldn't even be messing with it. Okay. I, I wouldn't be eating no fast foods. I wouldn't even be eating no meats that, you know, that are wrapped up with red dye in it at your grocery stores. Okay. If you can't find a local farmer where you can get some true grass fed, okay, I wouldn't be messing with it. Okay. And we're in a time now where there's synthetic meats. Okay. They've already, you know, told you everything is just about synthetic, especially all these fast food places. And now there's, you know, you, you can find a truck on, you know, in every single big city selling $40 ribeyes, okay, that, that have turned out to be, you know, synthetic meats, okay. So we're living in that time where you should, you know, tread carefully about your health, okay. Remember, the only way they can take you out is by, you know, you agreeing to put something in your damn mouth or in your body. Think about what I just said, okay. That's the only way that you can really get sick, all right. So if you're protecting yourself, all right, and you're eating the right things, you're fasting, okay, you're retaining your seed, bro, okay, you're going to become, you're going to become somebody so great, you're going to be filled with so much knowledge, okay, you're, you're going to be able to create multiple businesses, you're going to be able to help everybody with their problems, and again, that's, that's what we do here, right, we sell people things, we sell people programs, okay, there's nothing going to work better than this, all right. So I just want you guys to understand that. That's all I really wanted to tell you guys tonight. I'll read a couple more questions. I'm going to get up out of here. I appreciate that. He said that lie with big war was powerful, bro. Yeah, man. I just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I just called in, to, to, you know, cause I just figured he didn't know, you know, I hear big war shout out to big war, man. Cause like I say, he'd be helping man, but you know, he's old school. So he don't know, he don't know everything, man. And, you know, he, he's in the same era as my, as my parents, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of testing him, you know what I'm saying? And he doesn't know. Okay. So let just, that goes to show you that a lot of people out here really thinking they, you know, and this ain't no disrespect. No, what well, I'm saying, I'm just saying in general, a lot of people out here really be thinking that they're helping people and they're, and they're really giving people the best information and knowledge that they can. And they don't understand that they're missing a huge chunk of knowledge out there. Okay. I'm pretty sure a lot of people cup are full, bro. All right. And, and they're not trying to hear nothing like that. And they don't understand on how powerful it is. Okay. And how much it could change their lives. But like, like I said, a lot of people are comfortable in the situations they're, they're in and that's fine. More power to them. Okay. But it's true. It really changes your mind. It really changes who you are, fellas. Okay. So continue to stay on your journey. Continue, bro, to keep going. Don't let nobody tell you, bro. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. When I tell you, bro, that this is the ultimate key and you will forever be able to lock any door that comes in front of you, bro. Okay. You have the key, bro. They can't use nothing against you. Do you hear me? You are a super soldier. You are a universal soldier, bro. Okay. You are the real deal, bro. You are him, bro. You are Neo. You are the one. Jet Lee, bro. Bruce Lee, bro. Okay. You are him, bro. Understand when you are retaining your seat, look me dead in my eyes. I'm not capping with you. There's nobody brain is going to be able to mess with your brain power, bro. Okay. They will not be able to do it. They will never be able to keep up on what it is that you can do and achieve while you're retaining your seed. So you guys have a good rest of the night, man. I appreciate you guys for being in here and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I love you guys, man. Peace, bro.
If you boys read the title, man just here one year plus on Steam Attention on NoFab. I've been waiting to make this video. But before I say anything, I just want to say shout out to God because he is the one who helped me get this far. I say this every video, but God is the reason why I'm here. God is the reason why I made it this far in my journey. I give God all the glory, all the praise for giving me the strength, for giving me the resilience, the mental fortitude to make it this far in my journey of semen retention, in my journey of NoFab. Without the strength of Christ, without God, I wouldn't have made it this far in my journey. I wouldn't be here right now. All praises and glory to the Most High. Before I tell you guys about the benefits of one year plus on semen retention, I just want to say shout out to the Shaved Lion King. This guy is my inspiration when it comes to semen retention, when it comes to NoFab. This guy is on 900 days plus. He actually shouted me out in one of his lives. I'm going to play the clip for you in three, two, one. Okay, shout out to King Mai in the building. Hey, yo, if y'all haven't subscribed to King Mai, bro, go over, subscribe to his channel, bro. He's a real one, bro. Any, I respect any retainer with the, with the word king, okay, in their name because I can take them seriously, okay, because they understand what type of, you know, honor that you got to have okay what type of respect you got to carry to to carry the badge of king bro okay you we're not everybody's just not gonna be no king you got to put in the work to be a king bro and, and this young guy over here bro go check out his channel man he's doing his thing he's just like uh nah nah bro he's one of these young ones in the game bro at an early age all right leading the way bro for the new school so go check out my man king my the Shaved Lion King is the David Goggins of Steam Retention. If you guys haven't subscribed, go over to his channel and hit that subscribe and watch his lives. He's got one of the best lives you can watch when it comes to Steam Retention, when it comes to NoFap. Where are all the warriors at? Where are all the strong, tough dudes at? Where are the dudes that's going to lead the army? Where are my generals at, man? Where y'all at? I am tired of this shit. I'm tired of these weak mother effers, y'all. I'm tired of them. You should be too. I mean, I um, I I I, 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 I saw this girl with a big old booty, and I just I had to go home, and I I I, I just I, I couldn't control myself. Oh. Uh. Y'all are sad. I boom. First benefit of one year plus is the respect. You're going to be respected by your elders. You're going to be respected by the youth. Guaranteed, if I was busting nuts, if I was watching the hub, no one would have respect for me. I'm respected by everyone. Males, females. Everyone respects King Maya because I'm retaining my seed. I'm on semen session. I'm on high streaks. I'm on one year plus. I only get disrespect from people that hate me, but people that hate me are low vibrational anyways. I pay no attention to anyone that hates me. People will show respect to you when you get on semen retention, when you get on one year plus. When you do something that's difficult, you will be respected because it's just the way it is. People respect what's difficult to obtain. And being on semen retention, being on one year plus is not an easy task. Reaching these high streaks requires ultimate discipline, ultimate focus, being able to refrain, being able to resist watching the hub, sleeping around with random females for one year plus is not an easy thing to do. So that's why people will respect you. People will show love. If retention was easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be on NoFap. It wouldn't have any value. If everyone could do it. That's why we are part of the 1%. That's why we are kings. Not everyone is going to be a king. Not everyone is going to be a leader. If you're watching oh, this video, you're a chosen one. God wants you to keep going. Keep pushing on your journey. Your breakthrough is on the way. If you never give up. I will not stage, stage, even if I must sacrifice my life.